Greetings, you tubulins. Guess what I've been doing? No, I've not been playing with them little things. I've been playing with my Spitfire. Turns out to be, thanks to Mr. Tush, he looked up the numbers, he said it was a 63. How lovely. Anyway, it's a John Kerry day, 63 degrees. Birds are chirping and the bees are still flying and everything. And I've been working on my little engine. That could, it could be an engine again. Here's the head yard. Check the valve guys, they're very, very tight still, which amazes me. Was I not really smart on these little foreign rigs? But I give it a bath and done some stuff, and it's got good valve guides. The seats ain't beat plum out of it, but they do look like original seats. For running unleaded, that's amazing. And uh, here's the cylinder that the piston come apart in, and the valves wasn't bent in that in that cylinder another amazing thing of course it shared a little bit of metal with its sisters and brothers on the cylinders but they they all kind of want to suck that nasty stuff in there but i haven't found any cracks of course it will be taken to a place that they'll look for cracks but anyway it's getting a bath and that stuff's next and me and Shirley Jean probably have another bath tonight. You can't get around this stuff without getting it on you. Why I never went to a, a brothel, I guess. And the crankshaft was really rusty on the rod ends. And I took a little crocus cloth and I cleaned them up a little to try and find some scratches and stuff and uh, the bearings in the rod showed pretty good. Didn't show any real bad wear or anything. They're still in the in the silver babbit, not in the copper. If they have copper babbit, I don't know. This is all like a spaceship to me. And the, the crank turns free. So I figure if it bent anything crank-wise, it's going to be hard to bend this big old crank. It wouldn't be free between the main bearings. So, uh, here's the pistons. Na 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 na. There is a bad one. Woohoo! And then there's that one. They're all kind of busted up some. But there is a cure for that. They they bought some some of these things new pistons and some rings and stuff and it's got some rod bearing 10,000 rod bearings and according to sorry according to this ledger here the part numbers on this shows to be uh well gonna have to look it up again by Hunch and Granny, 1296. That's yeah, not a good number. So we'll go somewhere else and find a good number. That's not a good number. Uh, CP 804 standard. CP 804. CP 804. Okay. Yes, standard. Just what I said. So, I don't know. These things... If the bore was scratched up real bad, that would give me an opportunity to bore this rascal out. 
Mm. Let's try this in the hole. Woo! I haven't got my feeler gauges and tried it yet, but. Look like they'd probably knock a little bit. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this all up to you boys and girls. And uh, going back on the little body, I've been tearing the stuff out in here, looking for big holes in the floor like I would have if this had been a Mustang or a Camaro or something. And it's pretty solid. Back here where the stuff was, the windows kind of leak. It's starting to do bad things, but I stomped around in it and run a, a uh, wire wheel in it a few places and couldn't find anything yet. But if it all falls out tomorrow, that's good. I'll just, ha I'll just uh, regroup and fix it. This roll bar, I don't know, I've already roll barred my head twice. And that's not good on my particular noggin because I've knocked it off so many times. The doctor said, oh, one more time, Steve, and you'll be a vegetable. I said, Doc, can I can I pick what kind of vegetable? He's a Here's the underside. Uh, it's still got the paint on it. Of course, nasty transcription. All the way back to the residential. Don't see many pinion leaks. But somebody painted this lovely frame real pretty blue and then they painted over it with some stuff. Wish they'd left it blue. Kind of like Sir Vincent. This might be Vincent's mom. But it's got enough rust to make me feel good on the body here. That's not good. But back here in the trunk area, it's all good. Dented, but it's all good. If you can see that. But I think that's about all. Oh, I can show you. you can show me. Show me how to get up off of this creeper when you can't bend your legs. Ah, Holy cow butter. Now these wheels bend in under like that. That's a little bit concerning. What I've read. I'm used to the front wheels to do that, but not the back wheels. But I'll have to get used to that. Boy, it'll have to learn me to get used to it. Here's some of the stuff I got with it. I'm doing that. This is the water pump, which I don't know much about water pumps on these things. Should I just put one on it or try it? Goober stuff in there. Here's the stupid seat belt that was in it. Not no more. I uh, got the oil pump over here. And I'm trying to see if it's contaminated with some stuff. Trying to catch all the goobers that was in it, dissecting it kinda. But anyway, that's enough to get you guys going. And uh Anyway, any help y'all can give me is great. Because it's like working on a spaceship. For me. Alright then. I'm going to say... Let's see if I can do this. Y'all are better at this than me. A lot better. Uh, that's me signing off to y'all. Love ya. Bye.